Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I never doubted myself through any opportunity, through any situation. There was never any doubt. And I think that kind of helped me put me in the position that I am today. And I love that. I really love that because some people, opportunity comes to everyone. For sure. But the thing is that some people, because, and we all have our ups and downs because you had ups and downs. Yeah, yeah. Some people get so angry because of all of those downs that they overlook those opportunities. They're blinded by the anger, the hate, all of that, and overlook it. And that's why they don't see it. They can't grasp that opportunity. But I love the fact that you were able to see it and go head on for it. No matter what you were going through, you still believed in yourself and knew that you were worth more than whatever troubles that you were going through. Right. But but how did it feel to have them come back on you in that Super Bowl? I was mad. <laughs> Let me tell you something, nigga. I was game. mad. Man, I'm about to hear you. I told you, I told you, you can't talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was like, I was mad as hell. Yeah. I like, that day, that was a bad day. And this dude next door that you had met, uh, you remember the Indian dude next yeah, door yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, or yeah. the Egyptian dude? He called me in the middle of the game. Looked like your boy for the win a Super Bowl. You know what I mean? You, you met yeah, him. I met him, yeah, yeah sure. And I was like the Egyptian guy, uh, Mike. Mike is the guy next door. And I was like, man. And then after that, he called me. I don't look like, I'm like, dog, don't call me. I was so mad, dude. <laughs> I was upset because I felt like I lost, oh, you know. My God. But that was a tough, that was tough. I, that's when I decided in my heart that football is real. <laughs> 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 that day, that was my day. Yeah, I was like, no, so up. I said, damn, the, no, the point too. spread. The point spread right. is off. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so when you went, what, what caused the, uh, how did you end up in Chicago? So I'm uh, just trying to walk through this football yeah, thing yeah, right quick. Yeah, I, I mean, after playing in the Super Bowl, uh, I kind of made a name for myself, the Turbo Taylor name or whatever it is. Yeah, it was dope. Yeah, uh, I kind of made a name for myself, and I think that kind of carried me out through the rest of my career. And uh, with Atlanta, just and just being honest on this show, I know I can talk real oh, on this, this show. This show, this boss talk, what a boss is talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With Atlanta, I had an opportunity that summer to uh, sign a a, a, a a nice little deal in Atlanta, man. Like inside scoop, dude. Like DQ, uh, yeah. DQ, the the, the the defensive coordinator that's here in Dallas right now. That was my head coach. Okay. So uh, he brought me up to his uh, office, man. He signed something on a piece of paper. And he signed like a cash sign, like a money sign. You know what I mean? So he was like, Turbo, he called me TG. Like, you deserved it. You just write down the number that you want. Dope. You know what I mean? So I'm right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> did you go up high? Like, you let me go high. I'm going to go up high. I'm going to go You know I did. And uh, he was like, man, we're we going to get this done. So what happened was in the Super Bowl, I fractured my tibia. Okay. And I played through it. But I shouldn't have. And uh, that kind of messed me up. So that off season, DQ is real big on uh, camaraderie, mm-hmm. uh, football car- com- camaraderie, mm-hmm. and uh, just being involved. So man, E, I'm trying my best to work through the pain and go through the pain, but I couldn't. So that whole off season, I didn't do anything. So it was kind of like it. It wasn't a good look on the behalf of me about to get paid. You know what I'm right. saying? Because I'm a uh, he, I'm I'm a white white collar third down whatever receiver that I am. You know what I mean? I'm not Julio Jones. I can't do that. Yeah. So um, we get to uh, the season and uh, with Matt Ryan, like man, I'm spilling all the beans on here. No, go ahead. <laughs> I'm right here. That's what we're here yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. We with, make you real comfortable. Yeah, right yeah, there. right. <laughs> With uh with Matt and the, and the whole reason why I didn't sign back in Atlanta was because with Matt Ryan, um, just my not my work ethic, just I couldn't give him what what he was looking for. Okay, because of my shin. So when we were, we would we when we would run routes, I couldn't run as fast, and he wants that in game look. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I guess it came off as me like. Not giving a hundred percent of my work ethic being off, but yeah, I, I literally couldn't. I had to warm that thing up before I get going because mm-hmm. I was in excruciating pain. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And I had to deal with that for the longest. So we kind of fell out over that, and uh, the the deal kind of fell out on the wayside. Uh, we never kind of uh, contr- uh, came back to contract yeah, talks. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I was having a good year that year. You know what I mean? So it came to a point in their year to where it was like, man, I got to look out for myself. Mm-hmm. I can't keep putting myself in these bad situations because if I get hurt, like, man, I, ain't nobody want to sign me. I'm, I'm right. You know what I mean? So 
it was just a, a a weird time in my life because I went from being up there signing that number, me seeing that, to now I'm kind of like, uh, I I really don't want you, but I I just I want you here to make plays when it's here yeah. to be made. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.